वेलकम स्टूडेंट्स एज स्टूडेंट्स आई डिमांडिंग आई एम स्टार्टिंग प्रिपेयरिंग द जावा प्रैक्टिकल वीडियोज अलॉन्ग विद एडब्ल्यू द फर्स्ट प्रैक्टिकल इज क्रिएटिंग अ सिंपल कैलकुलेटर एप्लीकेशन यूजिंग सर्वलेट फॉर डेवलपिंग द एप्लीकेशन आई एम यूजिंग नेटबिन्स एज सजेस्टेड बाय यूनिवर्सिटी सो माय फर्स्ट प्रैक्टिकल कम्स एज क्रिएटिंग अ सिंपल कैलकुलेटर दैट मीन्स टू नंबर्स नीड टू बी एक्सेप्टेड and from the list of choices like addition subtraction multiplication division user will be selecting any of the one and when the user clicks on a submit depending on which choice has been done by the user the appropriate operation has to be done and the operation output need to be displayed to the user so uh, let's start working with this practical first i am going to netbin selecting the new project here i am coming with the java web selecting web application given the click on next given the name of this application as practical 1a then give a click on next select the server which you would like to use either a glassfish or maybe the tomcat i am right now selecting tomcat you can select glassfish also not a issue then given a click on next no need of selecting any of the framework just give a click on finish so a new project gets created and we need to develop two different pages one i need to develop a html page where the data will be accepted and second a servlet where data is been processed that means a calculation is been done so inside the body i am planning to the by default the page has been created called an index.html and here i am interested in creating the form by saying form method equal to post action equal to the name of the server maybe i am giving the name of the servlet as calculate so the servlet name when i am creating the servlet it will be calculate see capital me rahega because maine yahan pe capital me dala tha agar wahan pe naam change kiya to yahan pe bhi naam change karna pade i need to accept two numbers so i am just displaying first number then providing input type equal to number name equal to t1 this is the object name and a br tag for a line break further i am specifying second number input type equal to number name equal to t2 again a br tag for a line break i need to have a submit button but before the submit button the choices has to be given to the user the choices can be given in drop down list or the choices can be given in radio button Now I am interested in giving the choices in terms of what I should use: drop-down list or a radio button. Radio, radio button. The students are saying radio button. So here I am preparing the radio button by providing input type equal to radio, name equal to R1, value is something important. So I am providing value equal to maybe I am providing the value for addition. I am providing the value as add. A capital me bolo mat. and here i am using addition then a second radio button i just copy paste the radio button second third fourth so four radio buttons are there r1 same name has to be given for all radio buttons so that any one can be selected for a second radio button i am providing the subtraction and here also i am providing the value as sub this is what is getting displayed and this is what is getting passed here i am interested in going for a multiplication so i may be providing multiplication chalo multi m u l t i kar deta aur yahan pe likh diya m u l t i and this i need to go for division so i am saying division and i give a name as d i v fine then i need to have a submit button so i'm providing input type equal to submit value i don't want to provide let it be so when a user clicks on a submit button the data is been passed through the post to the servlet named as calculate and now the work need to be done by the calculate servlet let's see how the process need to be done so first i need to create a calculate servlet so i give a right click on the project selected the option new and given an option called as servlet Here the name of the servlet is calculate, and the name of the package I've given as com dot test. My favorite package, sir. Why com dot test? Okay, or you can give the name as ABC. I don't mind. Then give a click on next. 
there is no need to specify the deployment descriptor so i give a click on finish a readymade servlet is being developed for you if you don't want to use readymade servlet no issue just copy paste this particular code and keep it somewhere else so you can use it after and delete the entire server you can develop the entire servlet by your own. You know your package name is com.test. So the first statement is going to be package com.test. Next is importing all the required packages. So I'm providing import Java IO package as well as import Java x dot servlet dot HTTP dot asterisk. So two packages I had taken, then I'm creating the public class by saying public class, the name of the servlet, extend HTTP servlet. You know that servlet will be having a service method or a do get method or a do post method, uh, or you can create your own method in which you write a code and then call the created method under the do get also and under the do post also. So I'm interested in creating the third option where I will be creating my own method and that method will be called in do get also and do post also. So I'm specifying here public return type is going to be void. Maybe I just say my method name as process request in the bracket two parameters. One is HTTP servlet request object. What is the name of the object? I had given the name of the object at the request. And HTTP servlet response object and the name of the object I had given at the response. And this method must be throwing two exception. One is servlet exception. So throws the servlet exception, not this real exception. It is throws servlet exception. And one is called as the IO exception. So I'm throwing servlet exception as well as what here? IO exception. Kya ho gaya, beta? Achha, ye bhi request liya. Okay, fine. I'm just changing it as not a request. Over here, I need a response. So two, two parameters are there. One is HTTP servlet request. Second HTTP servlet response. The same method, I just copied for twice. And I just changed the name of the method. I had kept the name of the method over here as do get. And here I had given the name of the method as do post. Fine. So you know that when your forms method is post, the servlets do post is called. And if your forms method is get, then the servlet do get is been called. And I don't know whether my form method is get or post. So I'm keeping both the method and I'm calling my process request the created method over here under a do get and same way process request under a do post. So you may come through a post or you may come through the gate. You will be always going to my method named as process request. Now here what I'm interested, I'm interested in sending the response towards what here client. When I'm sending the response to the client, I need to utilize HTTP servlet response object. And my response object over here named as response and my request object named as what? Request. So here I'm writing, first of all, an object of print writer. So I'm creating print writer object out equal to response.getWriter. And further, I would like to, um, if you want, you can write a try catch for handling the exception. But I'm okay with not handling the exception. But I am just interested in setting my contain type also. So I'm writing response dot set contain type. And providing contain type as text public HTML, right? So output jo jane wala hai, wo text as well as HTML jane wala. And I'm writing the basic format saying out.println starting with the HTML. Again, I'm providing out.println closing with the HTML. Now, this entire code has been developed by the NetBeans and given it to you. But if my first servlet is, I'm going to develop it. Next servlet say 
आपको जो बाई डिफॉल्ट दिया है उसी को हम लोग क्या करेंगे मैनिपुलेट करेंगे सो so, यहां पे लिख दिया आउट डॉट प्रिंट एलन देन स्टार्टिंग विद द हेड टैग एंड क्लोजिंग विद द हेड टैग एज ए डोट राइट एनिथिंग इन साइड हेड एंड अगेन आई मीटिंग आउट डॉट प्रिंट एलन बॉडी टैग एंड क्लोजिंग विद द बॉडी ना इन साइड बॉडी टैग आई वुड लाइक टू डू माई ऑपरेशन of addition or a subtraction or a multiplication or a division and output i would like to show to the end user correct so first thing take the input which is received from the user so i am providing int text equal to integer dot percent in the bracket request dot method is get parameter so i am providing request dot get parameter अरे यहां पे स्पेलिंग ही गलत हो गया आर ई क्यू यू एस टी ना या सब जगह मुझे चेंज करना पड़ेगा या फिर जो ओल्ड वाला लिख के रखा है उल्टा पुल्टा उसके फॉलो करना पड़ेगा बट आई एम जस्ट इंटरेस्टेड इन रेक्टिफाइंग इट आर ई क्यू लिखा तो भी चलता है ऐसे कुछ कंपलशन नहीं किया ऐसा लिखना है तो लिखा रिक्वेस्ट डॉट गेट पैरामीटर The text box name is T1. So the value of T1 is required. Convert an integer stored inside X. Then writing int y equal to integer dot percent request dot get parameter. The second text box name T2. Now I would like to take an operator. So I am writing string O P E R equal to. Now the operator need to be accepted. So how will we do it? Simple request dot get parameter and my radio button's name is r1 so i'm keeping it at r1 so the opr will be having a value either as add or as subtract or as multiply or as divide whatever the value which is been given by you over here yahan pe jo value diya na wahi value pass hota hai so now operator value is been there with us I am saying int n s equal to zero, and then providing out dot print ln h one के अंदर बताता हूँ मैं result is plus n s plus h one is close. Now here I need to first of all calculate result by saying if o p e r dot equals, or if I want you can write equals ignore case string है ना? तो equal ignore case add. तो इफ सपोज ओपीआर वैल्यू इज एड ए डबल डी अब ये कैपिटल स्मॉल कैसे भी चल जाएगा बिकॉज हम लोग ने यहां पे क्या लिखा है इक्वल्स इग्नोर केस तो लिखा आंसर इक्वल टू एक्स प्लस वाई एल से अगेन आई एम प्रोवाइडिंग ओवर हियर ओपीआर डॉट इक्वल्स इग्नोर केस एस यू बी सब्सट्रैक्ट राइटिंग आंसर इक्वल टू एक्स माइनस वाई एल से ओपीआर डॉट Equals ignore case. I am providing over here multiplication. क्या लिखा है हम लोगों ने M U L T I. So I am providing M U L T I. Please remember that this is equals ignore case. So caps or small का कुछ issue आएगा नहीं comparison के लिए. Answer equal to x multiplied by y. And then providing last answer equal to x divided by y. Now this is the integer division. So 10 divided by 3 will be only 3, not 3.3333. If you want 3.3333, then you have to be using the float. So float dot pass float करके करना पड़ेगा हर एक चीज़. So variable का data type integer मत रखो, float रखो. Okay? And my task has been completed. Now I would like to run and check. क्या हो गया बेटा? आ अगर पहला if नहीं है, तो ये else if. Last में कुछ नहीं तो division ही रहेगा ना? तो उसके लिए वापस तुझे else if लिखने की ज़रूरत नहीं है. थोड़ा एक चेंज करेंगे सिर्फ हम लोग एडिशन को बाय डिफॉल्ट चेक करते हैं तो बाय डिफॉल्ट क्या रहेगा रे बाबा एडिशन चेक रहेगा राइट या फिर सिर्फ चेक लिखा तो भी चलता है सो बाय डिफॉल्ट एडिशन इज व्हाट बीन चेकड सो बाय डिफॉल्ट एडिशन सिलेक्टेड रहेगा वन मोर स्मॉल चेंज व्हाट एवर इज बीन डिलीटेड बाई मी दैट आई नीड टू एड इट बिफोर माई नेम ऑफ द क्लास वॉट इट इज It is the URL which you need to specify for Tomcat server. Okay, so you need to provide your web servlet name equal to calculate URL pattern equal to slash calculate 
and here I just completed my import of javax.servlet.annotation.webservlet. Once this task has been completed, save your program and just run your HTML page. It will take some more time for the first time because Apache Tomcat server is started now, right? So Apache Tomcat server अभी चालू होगा, उसके बाद में फिर अपना application deployed हो जाएगा, फिर उसके बाद में client side का browser खुलेगा, and then we are passing the values into two text boxes. देखो by default addition is what being checked. So my first number I had given as ten and my second number I had given as two, uh, and further I had given a click on submit query. The result is twelve. If I say subtract, my result is eight. If I say multiply, my result will be 20. And if I say divide, my result will be 5. But please, fraction is not considered because you are using the data type as int. Fraction agar consider karwana hai, to your data type has to be what? Float. So you have to use float.pass float for the same. So this is our first practical, practical 1A. Uh, students, please subscribe the channel. And if any uh, requirements from your end, please comment it out. So I will try to create a videos for you for the same. Thanks a lot class. Thank you.